Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2022 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. This is one of my favorite Jeep trims you can get. There is one feature, however, I am kind of disappointed about. I'll go over that in a little bit. But starting off up front with this particular one, the way this one was optioned, you do have the um, incandescent halogen headlights as well as daytime running lights and fog lights. You are going to get the orange powder coated tow recovery hooks, front facing camera. Coming around to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have some Falcon Wild Peaks, and those are 285-7017s. Absolutely beautiful looking Fox shocks. Mojave badging on the hood. There's your desert rated 4x4 badge as well as your Gladiator badge. The reason I like the Mojave trim is orange is one of my favorite colors and I love the, the gray and orange accents that this vehicle has on the exterior as well as the interior. You are going to get blind spot monitors. Uh, this has the passive entry system so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door. Right here we have your uh, fuel cap. Again, pretty massive tires, five link suspension with the Fox shocks. LED tail lights with blind spot monitor right here. Orange powder coated tow recovery hooks and parking sensors at the bottom portion of the bumper as well as a four pin and seven pin connector. Backup camera is gonna be right here. Your Mojave Jeep logo is there. Because the top can be taken off of this, the third brake light is actually just above the tailgate release latch i really really do like the uh, exterior of this vehicle it also has rock sliders that are cab length jeep gladiator logo again just overall i think the gladiator is a really um aggressive looking trim now with that being said let's take a closer look at the interior so starting off over here on the left hand side we're going to have your mirror controls to the right of that, we're gonna have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Dimmer switch for the uh, ambient lighting and then the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a beautiful LCD screen in the middle. Uh, just like the exterior of the vehicle, you do have this orange accent trim throughout with the stitching as well as just some other miscellaneous items. Steering wheel. Very nice soft leather wrapped steering wheel with pretty aggressive bolsters at 10 and 2 like you'd expect. Orange stitching throughout. This control pad right here controls the center LCD screen. You got your hands-free call buttons. Your gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control. Regular cruise control buttons. Storage compartment up top. The new, uh, I think this is an 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen display. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, being a Jeep, it is going to have the Jeep off-road pages, if I remember where it is. I do not remember where it is. But this does have it. Under that, you have all the physical buttons for the air conditioning of the vehicle, including your heated driver and passenger seats. Heated steering wheel. Push button starts going to be right here. Your mute button. Automatic start stop off. It is on by default. Traction control off, hazard lights, parking sensors off, trail cruise, screen off. Under that, you have all the window controls, 12 volt outlet, your media hub with a USB, USB-C, and an auxiliary jack. And then we get to the part that I'm kind of disappointed about. This guy only has a rear locking diff and off-road plus. It does not have front and rear locking diffs, and it does not have disconnecting sway bar. Uh, I really wish they would have put that on here. I would probably have gotten one if they would have, but oh well, it still has a rear locking diff, which is pretty cool. And then you also have four auxiliary outfitter switches, manual transfer case selection right here, gear selector as well with the Jeep Gladiator on top. Again, orange stitching throughout, cup holders, armrest slash storage compartment with a USB port and cut out for cord management. Mojave is stitched into the leather which looks pretty cool. 
got your grab handle right here, as well as a small glove box. Auto dimming rear view mirror, vanity, LED lit for driver and passenger, and the driver vanity has a three door universal garage remote. Overall, I really like the interior. Like I said, orange is one of my favorite colors, so this interior is, hits home with me. It's absolutely amazing. Only thing I don't like is the lack of off-road features. But with that being said, let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. All right, so with the seat situated where it would be with, if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid two to three inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. Uh, we do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats, as well as this Molly webbing, which is pretty cool. Rear air conditioning vents right here, as well as their window controls. They also have a media hub with two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Two cup holders are gonna be right there. And then this guy also has a fold down armrest slash cup holder. Up top at the B pillar cross member, We've got LED dome map lights, which are actually pretty bright. And we got a bunch of speakers. So overall pretty comfortable in here. I, I like this vehicle a lot. I think it's a very, very aggressive looking vehicle. And the interior is very rugged. Let's take a look at the bed. So to open the lift, lift gate on this vehicle, you're just gonna come up to it and pull it. It is slightly assisted which is nice this one does have a spray and bed liner from the factory you got four tie down points one in each of the four corners if you look closely too you see dirt bike tire marks you can fit two full-size dirt bikes in here or one standard size quad something cool that the jeep does is in order to fit standard uh four by eight plywood or drywall the wheel wells were put where they were and then you actually take the hinges on these guys, put them behind this plastic thing on both sides, and it creates a level surface for drywall or plywood to sit, which is pretty cool. Also too, they hit an Easter egg in here. If any of you know what the 419 is, put it in the comment section below. Now it is a smaller tailgate, so it is very easy to put back up and slam home. If you like this video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. It does greatly help me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you want to keep up to date on more Chicago Auto Show news, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Also, check out the video description below for all of the channel affiliate links. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.